Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I am doing another art journal page and I'm just opening it up in front of me here so I can see it oh, while I make it. And let's see. All right, there we go. Um, oh, that, what did I do there? Okay, well, that's fine, I guess. So, <laughs> I am arting. Uh, I have a couple magazine images here that I'm just cutting up to fit on the page. Um, so when I do my art journal pages, it feels really weird to talk about my art journaling process because of the fact that this is like so new to me. I've only done two, four other art journal pages. So talking about my process, like it's a matter of fact thing just feels so strange, but I'm going to try to because it is what I did. Um, and it's what I've been doing. So I am just laying down some Mod Podge right here. And I'm going to use that as my adhesive for my um, magazine images. I know you're supposed to put like a, a thinner layer and make it more even. I genuinely can't be bothered. I don't really care. Um, if my images get crinkly and stuff, I actually kind of like that. Um, if it's like so warped that it, it's, you know impacting your ability to see the image properly then that's a problem for me but that's not really what's happening uh, I don't mind a little bit of buckling a little bit of bubbles um, some texture I I like it I think it makes the pages feel a little bit more substantial it kind of makes them look a little bit more interesting in my opinion because it adds texture but yeah, so that's what I'm doing, and that's why I'm not really being very precise about my Mod Podge, Mod Podge placement. Um, but anyway, I'm going to finish my thought from before. Uh, when I choose magazine images for my art journal pages, I, I'm i mostly looking at the color palette and not so much the actual image or the content of the image. Um, the content of the image doesn't really matter that much to me, to be honest, as long as it's nothing like super weird or crazy. And I don't even really know what I mean by that because I haven't come across anything that's too weird or crazy for me to put in my art journal. But um, yeah, the image itself doesn't really matter that much to me, as long as I like the image and the color palette works for what I need. This isn't making any sense. I choose the color palette of the images based on the color of the like pre-painted background in this art journal. That's what I do. And so the images that I chose have a lot of like a lot of browns and then some yellows and oranges and those really went well with the background that was already there and I kind of just used the background that's already there as a jumping off point because as you'll notice you can't really see much of the background anymore after I'm done with the spread um, so it doesn't really make a huge huge difference it definitely peeks through you can definitely still see it in places so I do like that I am paying attention to kind of matching the color palettes but uh, at the end of the day I it, it doesn't really make a huge difference anyway I just like to use that as a starting point the orange paint that I used in the video it looks a lot more yellow based in person it's very orange it's very much so like prime like a not, it's not a primary orange because orange isn't a primary color, secondary orange. That's, that sounds weird. Um, it's very much an orange orange and not like this yellowy orange that it looks like on, on camera. Um, but it's fine. And I just 
really like the look of orange and turquoise together or teal. Uh, and there was a little bit of like a tealy color in the like peeking through from the sky. And yeah, so I just did that. And now I'm sticking glitter on. I, I'm not joking when I say this art journal, every single page is going to have glitter on it because I just love glitter so much. Um, although the glitter on this one had a little bit of a glitter situation. So I put down this like purpley pink glitter first and then I put down some green and those worked great. Those were doing, those were doing well. Um, and then I had this old glitter it's like a pinky color and it was like dried out and I tried to reconstitute it I had these like old cheap little tiny jars of glitter that had dried out and I was trying to reconstitute them it turned out to be much more of a headache than it was worth and the texture of the glitter was just really gross honestly and so I did put some of the pink on here um and I'll put some more in a little bit but it's it looks okay like it's definitely chunky on on the art journal page which honestly I don't really care I don't mind that so much but you can see me using like this little palette uh knife to kind of scrape it on there because there's no way a brush was gonna distribute this well and I eventually give up because it's just like chunky and kind of gross and I just decided it wasn't worth it anymore yeah yeah you can see it's really chunky and gross I I ended up throwing away the rest of the jars I had of this kind of glitter because I just I have enough glitter paint that's like good glitter paint like it doesn't require this struggle from me that it just made no sense for me to keep this and it looks like I'm squishing something nasty I don't know like it ends up looking fine like the final product but it just definitely wasn't worth putting myself through that struggle so not doing that again uh what do I do next am I putting more glitter I think I am putting more glitter okay so I let it dry for a little bit and now I'm going to use a paint marker to draw these like lime green stars and like dots and stuff um, because I wanted to bring in the, the green from the like actual limes on the page and I did that with the glitter a little bit but I wanted something more punchy and I really like how this ends up looking with the green I like how bright and neon it is and I feel like stars are just an easy go-to because I don't really know what I'm doing here, you guys. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. So I like stars. I like the way they look. Stars and those little like cross stars, I feel like are just going to be a go-to for me for adding like little details just because they're, they're easy and they always look good. So yeah. Anyway, if you guys um, are enjoying this process, <laughs> this very newbie process, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you guys subscribe and leave me a comment letting me know if you think this turned out decent at all. Um, I am taking a black paint pen now and I'm just drawing these like lines. They look a little bit like drip lines, but I'm doing them from the bottom and the top. And I like the way the detail turned out. I feel like I could have taken it a little bit further. I feel like I didn't do 
enough of it, honestly. And I think in a future um, original page, I'll kind of make it more of a focal point because I do kind of like how it looks. Um, and then I'm going to draw some black stars, just a couple here and there. Uh, and then I do write something. I honestly don't know. This wasn't a quote that I found or anything. It was just something that popped into my head and I wrote it down. And I, it says forever a summer memory. And I kind of wish I had like gone back and thickened up the letters. It looks a little weird, honestly. Like, I'm fine with it. I'm not going to go back and fix it now. Because this is just, this is all just a learning process for me. I'm just doing things and seeing how I like them and seeing how they turn out. I wish that I had either used a thicker marker or gone back and like thickened up the lines or done something to kind of make it look more cohesive like it like it's one thing. I don't know. It just looks a little odd um, but it's okay. And then the final thing I'm doing, I think this is the final thing I'm doing. Yeah, I'm putting some Heidi Swap, um, like the shine spray. I don't know what it's called. Um, and I don't know what the color is called. Uh, it's Citron. Anyway, I don't even think you can buy these anymore. But that is the final product. So if you enjoyed it, give the video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.